With my hood pinned together at the front with my notches matching, you wanna make sure your notches are matching. I'm gonna check for that and it will make a difference on your hoodie. It'll make it weaker at the front if you don't match those notches. So make sure you're doing that. With that done, I have my hoodie or my hood pretty much ready to be pinned into my um, hoodie itself. But I have to prepare a couple things over on my hoodie at the neckline. So let's look back at our pattern guide sheet. It told us to pin the hood to the neckline, right sides and raw si edges together. So we're gonna put right sides together, match up at the raw edges. We're gonna match the seam on hood to center back. So we need to figure out where center back is. And then there's notches for the shoulders. So there's gonna be, if you look here, there's a notch on the hood that will line up with a notch on the shoulder of the hoodie and notch at the center front. So there'll be, I need to find my center front as well. So let's find our center front and center back. You might be wondering, how do we do that? Well, let's start with center front. So this is the front of my hoodie. You can see the pocket. We're looking at the front. I don't know exactly where the middle of that is, but I can find it by taking my two raglan sleeves, or seams, raglan sleeve seams, at the front of my hoodie, and I'll just match them together. So I'm gonna line them up with each other, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my other hand, so I'm gonna pinch with my right hand, and with my left hand, I'm gonna just drag my fingers down and find where the center of that is. So I just kind of folded that whole thing in half. And this is telling me this is the center front of my hoodie. So this is the exact middle of the front of my hoodie. We're gonna do the same thing for the center back. So I'll just take my two, we're gonna look at the back now. So this is the back. I have my two raglan back sleeve seams and I'm gonna put those two together. So I'll line them up just like this. You can see they're lined up like this. So I've lined up and then I'm just gonna drag my fingers down, pinch when I find the back and I'll put a pin right there just so that I know where I can remember where my center back is. So that's my center back. You can see it's just right in between these two seams. With my center back and my center front pinned and marked, these are just temporary pins to mark where I'm gonna line up. This will be notches, those notches that I already lined up on my hood right here where I have this pin. So these pins are gonna match up with each other. And then this is going to line up with the back seam. So I'm gonna do the seam right there. So I'm ready to line these two. Uh, with everything I need marked, I'm ready to attach my hood to my sweatshirt. And to do that, I need to turn one of them inside out because I need to have my right sides together. It's a little bit easier to turn your hood inside, I mean your hoodie, Now that I've pinned my hood at the front notches and I've marked my center front and my center back, you can see center back on my hoodie, I'm ready to put these two pieces together. So my hood to my sweatshirt without a hoodie, without a hood yet, so it's not quite a hoodie yet, but my hood to my sweatshirt. And I need to put right sides together. In order to do that, one of these is gonna have to be inside out. It's easier to make this shirt piece inside out than it is for this because then you can just put the hood inside of the inside out shirt. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna turn this inside out and then we'll pin them all together. So let's look at it. Let's look at our pattern guide sheet with this. I've turned my hood, I've turned my shirt inside out and I'm just gonna look back at my pattern guide sheet to make sure I know exactly where I'm gonna line things up. Told me to pin the hood to the neckline, right sides and raw edges together. So I'm gonna put my right sides together and I'll line up with the raw edges. I'm gonna match the seams on the hood to the center back. So I need to find the center back of my hood and match it to the center back of my shirt. Then I need to match the notches for the shoulders and the notch for the center front. So I have a pin at the center front of my shirt and notches at the front of my hood. So I need to mark it in those three places first. That's where I'll pin it together. And then I'll ease everything else in. So you can see this is the front of my hood. You can see the buttonholes and everything. So I'm gonna start with the front and I'll take my hood just like this. So I'm looking at the right side of my hood, not the inside, I'm looking at the outside. And I'm gonna just slip it right inside the neckline. So here's my neckline. I'm gonna put my hood in there. Now I have the front of my hood where I've pinned the notches together. 
And this is where I marked the center front of my hood. And I'll put all of those together on top of each other. So I'll find my notches, put that right there. And then I'm gonna put this pin through all of those layers. So that'll be really thick when we're sewing. We'll have to be careful at this part, but it'll help strengthen the front of our hoodie. Now, I'm gonna match up at center back. And center back again, remember, is this back seam right here. And I wanna make sure that when I sew it in, I'm sewing it the same, remember how I pressed my seam allowance over? I want my seam allowance to be going the same direction. So I'm gonna find the top of my hood, figure out where my seam allowance is going. It's going to the right for me, might be different for you. So I'm gonna make sure my seam allowance is pinned over that direction. So I'm folding it over and then I will line up this seam right with this pin that I've marked with center back, the center back with. So I'll go ahead and pin those together right there. And I'm just gonna pin my seam allowance over so I remember which direction it needs to go. The next thing I need to look for is the notches it talked about at the shoulders. So you can see I have two notches here, two notches here. I'm gonna line them up so they're right on top of each other and I'll pin them. Then I'll go around to the other shoulder seam, line up my two notches, pin them together. And I've done the three things it tells me, but I'm still gonna pin more spots because see how this doesn't really line up because they're different curves. I'm going to need to pin those nicely. So what we're gonna do here, and again, I'm just finding out where my seam allowance is. So if I look at this seam, I pressed it down. So I'm gonna keep it going this direction. See how it's going this down direction when I sewed it. So I wanna keep it going the same way. So I'm gonna press that down or keep that down as I go. But I'm also gonna ease this in. And we've talked about easing it in before. This is where it's really, really gonna come into play. So what I'm gonna do is I have two places that are pinned and I know for sure this is where I want these two places. Even if it looks like, these don't look like they line up exactly right. I know for sure at the notches, I want them my hood and my shirt to line up. And I know at the front, center front, I want my hood and my notches to line up with center front. So I know for sure I want these two places to be exactly where they are. So now I'm just gonna grab my two pins that are in place and I'll stretch it out. And you might need to grab a partner to help you with this. Sometimes it's tricky. I'll find the middle piece. So I'm gonna stretch it out. And with my fingers, I'll find the middle, pin it or pinch it together until I can pin it. And then I'm gonna put a pin in. So I'm just splitting the difference between that gap. And I'm stretching it out so that they stretch out and they're evenly spaced out. Everything's evenly spaced out. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna remember that my seam allowance, I want to go this way. So check and see what way you want your seam allowance to go. But I'm gonna grab these two pinned points because I know those are places I want to match up. I'm gonna stretch it and then I'll pin it in the middle. And I'm just gonna pin my seam allowance over too so I remember which way I want my seam allowance to go. And if you want, you can just put a couple pins in between. It's always nice to have more pins than less pins. I'll ease it again right here, just pulling, pinching the center and pinning it. Now let's do the same thing right over on this side. See this big gap and it's kind of awkward because one side's curving this way and one side's curving the opposite way. Well, we're gonna ease it together. So I'm gonna grab these two points, the notches and the center front and I know for sure I'm not gonna adjust these two pins. These are gonna stay where they are. Then I'm going to stretch it out. So I'm holding these two points, I'm stretching. And with my fingers, I'm finding the center. I'm lining up the raw edges and then I'm pinching it until I can put a pin in it. If you need a partner, you can have a friend help you. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm grabbing my two edges, stretching it, lining up the raw edges. You wanna make sure your raw edges are lined up because we're only doing a quarter inch seam allowance. So if they're a little bit off, you might end up with a hole at your neckline. So then I'm just gonna pin in the middle of each of these again, just easing everything in. Let's do the back. So I have center back here, my notches here. I don't wanna move in either of those. I'm gonna just double check which way I put my seam allowance on this seam. Looks like I went this way. So I'm gonna make sure my seam allowance goes that way when I pin it. So I have my notches and my pin, my hands. I'm stretching it, I'm finding the middle, pinching it down until I can put a pin in it, making sure my raw edges are lined up together and I'm gonna to just pin my seam allowance down. And I'll do the same thing, just continually easing it in. You just find two points, stretch it, 
pinch the middle, pin it. Making sure your raw edges are lined up. And then this one should be the opposite. Should be going the other way, my seam allowance. So I'm just gonna make the seam allowance this way is going out. So I probably made the other one go this way. I can double check that over here. Yep, and I want it to go this way. So I did a mirror image. So I'm gonna find my notches, center back, pin up, pull them, pinch the center, and line up the raw edges together. So these are the raw edges. And then I'm going to pin it. Just fold over my seam allowances and pin those as well. And I'll just split the difference between all of those pins, lining up my raw edges. If you're nervous about sewing this spot, which it can be a little tricky, there's a lot going on, the more pins, the better. So the more your fabric will not move on you. Okay, I'm just gonna pin this last area that I haven't done. And I want that to go this way. I want my seam allowance to go that way. So I'm just checking down here where my seam allowance is pressed. So I don't wanna mess up the way it's pressed. Gonna hold these two pins, stretch, All right, I finished pinning together my hood and my hoodie. Before I sew, I just wanna double check. This is the front of my hoodie. I can see the pockets and the buttonholes. And I just wanna double check that that is where I have the front of my hood, right? And then this is the back of my hoodie. I should have a seam for the back of my hood right there. So once I've checked those things, I'm ready to sew. One up. Okay, I have my hoodie here and you can see this is the front I have my pocket it's inside out but you can still see the pocket and the buttonholes I want to make sure before I sew that this is going to be the front of my hoodie right so I have a hole right here for my face at the front and then at the back I should have the back seam of my hood which I do one other thing I want to check is just that everything is pinned neatly and I'm not I don't have any big gaps you probably want to pin at least every inch for this part because fabric moves and you just wanna be really, really careful that everything's gonna to stay together because we are sewing with one quarter inch seam allowance. So if one thing shifts, it's really easy to get a hole. You also wanna make sure that all of your raw edges line up together. So if I had something that looked like this and my raw edges weren't lined up, I might end up with a hole there. So I need to just stretch that out or like even it out so that my raw edges are right in line with each other and then pin that. So if you don't have any, if you have any raw edges that aren't lining up perfectly, go ahead and adjust those before you sew. Okay, let's look at our pattern guide sheet and see what we've done. It said to let's look at our pattern guide sheet and see what we've done. It said to pin the hood to the neckline, right sides, and raw edges together. So we've done that. We match the seam on the hood to the center front or to center back. So we, the back is matched to the back and we match the notches for the shoulders and we notched, we match the notch for the center front. So we did all of those things. The next thing it says is to stitch. So we're gonna sew this at one quarter inch seam allowance. 